What's up guys, welcome back to episode 15 of the free to play level 3 skiller series. We ended last video saying that we were going to get 99 crafting in the next video, and that's exactly what we are going to do. Currently level 95 crafting, and we also have 611 free total level. We only need 39 more levels to go up a rank in the District 3 clan chat, and I'm very excited about that. So in the last video, we were making ruby necklaces because they make profit and you get pretty good XP, about 80,000 XP an hour. However, one of you awesome commenters pointed out that I could be making diamond necklaces for better XP and better profit. As you guys can see here, I already did the math and every time I make a ruby necklace, I end up profiting roughly 160 GP each. However, if I make diamond necklaces, I will be getting more XP an hour and I will be getting 234 GP each on average. For some reason, I thought diamond necklaces were members only and made a loss. However, they are free to play, and that is exactly what we're going to be doing all the way to level 99. It really is too bad that I missed out on that for all of the previous levels. And you guys already know the drill. Let's pull up the crafting calculator and see how many diamond necklaces we need to make in order to get level 99 crafting. So to get level 99, we're going to need to get 4,262,828 XP, which means that we're going to need to make... 47,365 diamond necklaces. Diamonds are twice the price of rubies right now, and we should be able to get them for about 1,633 each. And because we only have a 25.7 mil cash stack, we're only going to be able to buy 15,000 of them up front. I'm really looking forward to these offers going through. That way we can compare the difference of XP an hour between the ruby necklaces and diamond necklaces. So about six hours ago, I recorded how much XP an hour we were getting. And when I went to edit it, I realized I was recording the wrong monitor. So yeah, um, I guess I'll just show you guys the clip. So I've been making diamond necklaces for about an hour now. And as you guys can see, we are getting about 92,000 XP an hour. And it's way better than making ruby necklaces, which average out about 76 to 78,000 XP an hour. I never have my run on because I just don't want to manage my run. But if you guys were doing this at home, you could easily have an energy potion in your inventory that you can manage your run. And you would honestly, making diamond necklaces, probably get over 100,000 XP an hour. I would imagine maybe around 105,000, maybe even 110,000. I could be wrong, though, because I don't want to do that because I just like to chill and make diamond necklaces. But yeah, it's really great XP an hour and we're making pretty decent money. And the diamond necklaces are currently going for 1,994. I'm going to put them in for 1,993. And if all of these sell, we're going to be getting about 30 mil back. That is amazing. All right. And after multiple days, the diamond necklaces have finally sold. I had to change the price a couple times because it was slowly going down and I didn't want to lose too much of my profit. But everything has sold for a total of 29,453,820 GP, which means by making 15,000 diamond necklaces, we profited 3,269,765 GP. But anyway, now that we have almost 29.5 mil, let's buy some more supplies for more diamond necklaces and let's get back to crafting. Okay, we are on our last 10 diamond necklaces until we got to sell all of the necklaces we made, get our profit, and then buy more materials. And we are done. Just in time, we got a system update in about two minutes. So let's grab these necklaces and run over to the Grand Exchange before we get booted. And the selling offer is in for 1,996 GP. Hopefully all of these sell by the time I wake up because it's currently four o'clock in the morning. I want to go to sleep. And all of the necklaces have sold. It actually took two days to sell and I had to change the offer, but I did get most of the first batch sold for a pretty good price. Turns out that the majority of them sold for 1,977 and the remaining sold for 1942. And in order for us to get level 99 crafting, we're going to need to make 18,064 more diamond amulets. And I was able to put in an offer with 2.3 mil left. And it's very, very nice knowing that these are going to be the last bit of diamond necklaces to make in order to get level 99 crafting. Queen is so fine Streets of gems and treasure to find Meticulous hands creating with grace Level 99 crafting this free to play challenge I chase Each diamond plays with precision so fine My necklace will sparkle with every dime Level 99 crafting the future is bright I must grind this skill all day and night Is a masterpiece, a symbol of skill, a crafting release. Through countless hours, I'll persevere. Level 99 crafting, it reaches near. 
change down in the night Plus precision refined My necklace is clean, their value defined Level 99 crafting, my path is clear And with money the train smithing is near So I just got level 99 crafting and then realized I never hit record because I apparently did some wrong math and I have way too many gold bars and diamonds in order to make more diamond necklaces and uh, I don't know what calculator I was using but I must have typed the number in wrong because yeah this is this is wrong. Hey I'm just here to remind you that when life isn't horrible it's actually pretty good. So if you just don't think about how horrible it is and think about how good it is, then uh, then it gets it gets better, even though horrible stuff still happening. But anyway, we got our first level 99 in free to play, which is super super cool. And I don't know how long you've been watching the series, but at the beginning I said if I get a 99 in free to play, I am gonna allow myself to use the skill cape as a fashion scape item, even though it's members. So yeah, guys, let's put it on. And here it is. The 99 skill cape for crafting. It looks pretty good. I've never had 99 crafting untrimmed before. But for those of you who don't fully grasp what I'm doing here, I don't actually have the crafting cape. Obviously, it's members. But the fashion scape plugin allows you to select items that only I see. So everybody else still sees this black cape. But for the videos and for my accomplishment, I guess, I made skill capes the only exception to the rule of not wearing things I don't actually have. But when we look at our character, we're going to have the crafting cape. And unfortunately, the skill cape emote does not work either. And that's because the fashion scape plugin isn't actually a real input in the game. But even though I bought too many supplies for all of these diamond necklaces, I am going to make the rest of these before we stop crafting. I mean, I might as well get a little bit extra XP, make a little bit extra cash, because we're going to need a lot of it for whenever we train smithing. And we're finally wrapping up the remainder of the diamond necklaces. Doing this got us 265,000 XP and brought us almost 20% of the way to virtual level 100. That's absolutely insane. But anyway, let's head over to the Grand Exchange, get these things sold, see how much money we made. And the offer is in. Let's let these things sit overnight and see if they all sell. Hopefully they do. And everything has sold for 35,262,880 GP. We started out with 31,573,609 GP which means that we made a total profit of 3,689,271 coins. And taking this money out of the Grand Exchange and adding it to our bank brings us to a total cash stack of 37,641,739 GP. So essentially 37 and a half mil which is absolutely insane on a free to play account. But now that we're done with crafting, I'm not sure what stat we're going to train next. I honestly probably should train rune crafting. I'm just so not in the mood to do that right now, though. And if we decide to do smithing, I hope that 37 mil cash stack will be able to get us up to level 88. Because at level 88, we actually start to make profit smithing. So the real issue is just getting to level 88. But after that, we're smooth sailing. So I think the stat that we are going to train is crafting. No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. But in all seriousness, I think that we're going to do some smithing training, maybe all the way up to level 88, maybe even 90. Uh, I'm not sure. It depends how much it costs. But it's currently 418 in the morning, so I am going to go to sleep and figure all of this stuff out tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. And today is a new day. What we're going to do is train some smithing. Our goal is to get to level 88 smithing, that way we're able to make adamant plate bodies, which is going to be the best method we could use to get to level 99 smithing in the future. We're going to need to buy 63,510 mithril bars. That is a ton of bars, and it is going to cost 45.2 mil. Yeah, we definitely don't have that in the bank. So once again, we're going to have to batch buy like we were doing with the materials to make diamond necklaces. Let's see if I have enough to get 50,000 of them, and we do. It's only 35.6 mil. Now that might seem like a lot of cash to spend, but keep in mind we are going to still be making mithril plate bodies, which we are going to sell, and get back the vast majority of that money. But keep in mind, we still got to buy about 13 and a half thousand more bars after this. So unfortunately, the losses are starting to be more apparent. Also, as you guys can see, I have switched up my outfit yet again. I have really bad ADHD and switching outfits kind of helps me reset whenever I'm getting kind of burnt out. I know it's really weird, but uh, yeah, so this is the new outfit. And yes, I am running the chicken feet. 
But yeah, it looks really, really nice. And whenever we get our next 99, whatever it's going to be, I'm going to be able to wear the trimmed crafting cape, which should look even nicer. So uh, yeah, hope you guys like the new outfit. And after a very long grind, here we are with level 85 smithing. We can now actually smelt runite ore, which is pretty cool, and make rune daggers as well. Our very first item of rune that we're able to smith. And that's about all that's unlocked for free to play. All right, we're on our final inventory until we got to sell all of these mithril plate bodies. Hopefully we can get a decent price for them. But even if we do, we still got to invest more money into buying more mithril bars in order to get to level 88 smithing. We have 10,001 Mithril Plate Bodies. Very, very nice. And Mithril Plate Bodies are currently going for 2,510. That's pretty bad, I think. Yeah, the other day they were going for 2,820. Um, I'm going to put them in for 2,819. I'm just going to ignore this. Maybe there's not that many people selling them right now. There's no way I'm going to take a 310 GP loss extra on each of these Plate Bodies. That's insane. In order to get to level 88, we're going to need to make 2,702 more Mithril Plate Bodies, which means that we're going to need to buy 13,510 Mithril Bars, which is going to come out to about 10 mil almost. So yeah, these things definitely need to sell. Hopefully they sell at this price. If not, I'll drop these down to about 2,799 each, and we'll see if they sell there. But yeah, I'm definitely not going to be taking a 300 GP loss on top of whatever we were losing already. And in only three hours, everything sold for the price I put it in for. It's kind of surprising. It probably would have been a good merch opportunity as well. It's really nice that I didn't put it in at 2,500 GP each because we would have lost like three mil-ish. So I'm pretty happy. Let's just get this cash out and buy the rest of the bars that we need. Alrighty, last inventory until we get to level 88 smithing. We can finally make adamant plate bodies, and we can also make rune med helms, and if we remember, we can make runite crossbows. But what we have to do now is sell these 2,702 mithril plate bodies, and then buy enough adamant bars to get to level 90. So just for fun, I put in an offer of how many adamant bars I'm going to need to get to level 99 smithing, and it's 262 mil. That is way more than I thought. I mean, we're going to be making adamant plate bodies and getting a lot of this money back. But like, wow, over a quarter of a billion GP to get level 99 smithing from level 88. That's actually crazy. All of the mithril plate bodies sold, by the way, which is very nice. And our cash stack is now at about 27.9 mil. So once again, we're going to spend our entire cash stack buying more supplies for smithing. To get to level 90 smithing, which is what we're going for in this video is going to cost us 15,370 bars, which is going to cost us 29.2 mil. We don't even have that. But we do have enough for 14,000 adamant bars, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So hopefully these go through at this minimum price here, because when they do, I'm really excited to get level 90 smithing. Very curious to see how much XP an hour it is just walking to and from the bank. I'm hoping that these adamant play bodies is going to get us around 160,000 XP per hour, uh, but I guess we'll find out. And that is all of the adamant plate bodies left until we have to go buy more supplies. Currently have 2,800 adamant plate bodies right now. And we're also 85,000 XP away from level 90 smithing. Which means that we only need to make 274 more adamant plate bodies. And at 5 bars a pop, we now need to buy 1,370 adamant bars. So I'm going to stick them in at 9,647 each and hopefully they sell by tomorrow. Actually, you know what? I'm going to sell these for 9,613 each. And the reason is we're able to sell all of these at this price. We actually would make like 1,000 GP. So it would be literally free training. So hopefully they sell at this price. And that way, I maybe don't have to wait overnight. Okay, I did lower the price to 95.75, but everything has sold. I mean, it's not really a big deal. I didn't mind taking the 100K loss because we bought all of these bars to make these for... 26656 and what we got back was 26553 so we only lost 103k getting all of this smithing xp even though we only need to buy 1370 bars in order to get to level 90 smithing the price right now is really low for these adamant bars so i'm going to put in an offer for all of my cash stack that way we can get as many as we can for a lower price for the future 
With our cash stack, we're able to buy 14,250 adamant bars, totaling just about 27.2 mil. And it's crazy at this low price they're already buying. All right, we're on our last adamant plate body in order to get level 90 smithing. We can now make rune scimitars, and if we remember, we can make all of this stuff, which is pretty cool. Message just went off in the clan chat as well. Thank you to everyone in District 3 for congratulating me. And we finally have our second level 90 stat. Oh, and by the way, as I've been AFK talking, this has been going down. But walking to and from the anvil here, making adamant plate bodies, it's us 175,000 XP an hour, which is a lot better than I was expecting. And we're barely losing any money either. Not sure what skill we're going to train next, but whatever it is, it's going to be in the next video. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. And I will see you in the next one.